does the clearly scan see soft plaque? So I'm a double board certified cardiologist. I do this for a living. This is my actual job. Anytime we are injecting dye into a lumen, into the inside of the artery like this, whether it's a, a cardiac catheterization, a CT angiogram, or an angiogram of any kind, whether it's us doing it in the heart, the cath lab, or in a radiology department doing a CT scan, you can see what's in here, where the dye goes. You cannot see what is in here. Now, soft plaque obviously starts out inside the arterial wall. This would be like where my fingers are, and eventually can protrude into the lumen and narrow the lumen. That is what you see with any kind of angiography, CT or cardiac cath. They're called luminograms. They're called luminographies. You cannot see inside the arterial wall. It doesn't matter how you do it or how much they tell you you can do it. You cannot see it. They use some type of AI imaging to look at like some areas look dimmer than another. Some areas look a little brighter and whatnot. And unfortunately, that's just not accurate. Now, of course, they say it's reliable and we've tested this and, you know, what have you, and we've reproduced it on multiple people. And the problem with injecting dye, whether we're doing it by hand or with a power injector in the cath lab or a power injector when you're getting a CT scan, is that there's always going to be streaming. There's always going to be some areas that just don't get enough blood flow because of the way the kink turns or the heart beats at the time when it turns and all of that. You're going to have some streaming artifacts, some ebbs and flows of the fluid, you know, going through there. It could be mistimed, there could be some misregistration artifact or some movement artifact. They're not perfect. And anybody tells you that this is the best way and this is gonna show you soft plaque in the arterial wall, that's just an outright lie. You cannot see into the arterial wall. There are two ways you can, and that is in the cath lab, we can do IVIS or we can do OCT. One is intravascular ultrasound, one is optical coherence tomography. Those are the only two ways.